Music license. Licensing reimagined. Roller Derby is played in increments called jams. Each jam lasts up to two minutes. Both teams field up to five skaters at the start of the jam. Four of these skaters are called blockers, and one is called the jammer. The jammer wears a helmet cover with a star on it and scores points for the team. The blockers are playing both offense and defense at the same time, and together they make up what is called the pack. The two jammers start each jam behind the pack and must get through all of these skaters for an initial pass before they can begin to score points. When the initial pass is complete, a jammer can score one point for every opponent they pass with their hips. The first jammer out of the pack legally is declared lead jammer, which means they can end the jam any time they want before the two minutes are up. Sounds easy, right? I didn't think I was going to do this this weekend, but here we are anyway. Hi, my name is Jai Kielski. Joining me is Huckleberry Jin. Are y'all ready to see the elevated all-stars take on the Dark Sky Starlets? Are you ready to see elevated roller derby take on high altitude? 
222 Roller Derby Dark Sky Scarlet. Why are y'all nodding? This is Roller Derby. Make some noise. They've been here all day already, right? Yeah, fair, fair. All this right, well, tell us who's playing, Hook. Huh? All right, so for Elevated Roller Derby All-Stars, we have number 11, Killer Queen, 1226, Rekka, 15, Harley Darlin, 187, Doom de Doom, number 248, ooh, just gonna scooch past you there, number 321, Rocket. 329, Triple Axel Rose. 34, Fighting Girlfriend. 414, Lost in Your Thighs. 45, Nikki Six Shooter. 484, Gemini. 505, Swear and Marie. Number 9, Kells Inferno. 909, Tsunami. And number 999, Amanda Jaminia. They are coached by Crush, Agony, and Death Row. All right, in skating in white, high altitude roller derby, dark sky, starlets, zero, the knockout, one, one destruction, one, three, Murphy's Law, one, four, one, four, Kid Radical, one, four, two, Meals on Wheels, two, three, Dud Bolt, two, four, Glitter Bomb, three, one, four, Pi R Scared, three, two, Mini Fridge, three, two, one, Slaya, seven, three, Swamp, seven, five, zero, Gin and Toxic, seven, six, Little Evil, eight, zero, two, Mow You Down, and nine, one, one, Eager Beaver, coached by B. Lou and Hellbender. Our skating and non-official er, non-skating officials tonight are Fickle Bitch, The Ginger Ninja, Nerdy Little Secret, okay. Loki Loki, Griff, Dysentery, Velma Deckley, Hyper Lynx, Sushi. And non-skating officials, we've got Manosaur, Serious Hurts, Lemon Stinger, F and Ref, Prince Albert, Colonel Langus, Siren Gasp, and Margie Ram. All right, we're about two minutes out from the start of this game here. It'll be the first Wufta game of the day, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Oh, sorry. WFTDA, bad habit. WFTDA and the second WFTDA game will be at 8 o'clock. That'll be AZRD Rising versus the Angel City Rocket Queens. However, I'm interested in the result of this game. Absolutely. All right. Because I will be playing the winner tomorrow. <laughs> so you really wanted the front row seat for yeah, this. Yeah, That's yeah. what I'm going to announce today. I need to see and Fortunately, Johnny needed a break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they work Johnny pretty hard around here. You don't have to. But he's producing because he loves us. I also don't think he could help himself. He'd still be over here. I would also. Yeah, he's not. I him. would also be over here. So, yeah. <laughs> So, of course, thank you to everybody who's joining us on Twitch. I know there's the big Boulder County Roller Derby watch party at home already watching the games tonight. Yeah. Make sure you like and subscribe to this AZRD Twitch channel. This helps the league. Also, everybody gets a free Prime subscription free. on Twitch. So if you've attached it to your Amazon Prime, you're basically just free giving money. free money You're to giving the us free here. money. That type of money helps put on these tournaments like we have today and supporting your announcers as well. It's a great, easy way to just kind of throw a couple bucks to your league's way to put on great tournaments like this. Looks like we see have skaters coming out to the track, which means it's about to be time for Derby. It's time. I always love this angle because I get to play the game of, what skater is that? Okay, that's Who's that, that skater, yeah. See that number? It looks like behind the line here for Elevated Roller Derby, we have number three, four, Fighting Girlfriend wearing the star. Fighting Girlfriend, also an official. Oh, nice. Yeah. I yeah. like when we have skaters who wear mini hats. Double, triple, quadruple threat. All right, that rolling whistle means we are just moments from starting off. I can't quite see the jammer's number for high altitude, so we'll have to update you as soon as we can get eyes on that. And that five-second call goes, and here we are off. Both jammers finding some space at the top of the pack, getting out pretty much at the exact same time. Ref's kind of conferring. It does look like lead jammer would go goes to fighting girlfriend, but they're going to quickly call it off. Make sure that they preserve that at a zero zero jam. That was just a test jam, y'all. We wanted to make sure everyone was ready. Y'all, yeah. you guys were kind of quiet. The warm up, the warm -up so jam. They were like, that's going to be the warm up jam yeah, for yeah. us. For real, for real this time, though. As soon as we can see those jammers' numbers, we will let you know who is wearing the star for each team. 
But first, I see Jin and Toxic holding down the defense for the Starlets. Big hit there by Kels Inferno on the high altitude city jammer, running them back, getting them back behind the jam line just as 414. Ooh, multiplayer. Uh, lead for elevated. Multiplayer block here to, to Murphy's Law. Four and that is 187 in the box for elevated. Yep. Doom de doom. Like Slaya is out, eligible to score points just as uh, Lost in Your Thighs gets out, decides to call it off. It looks like they are able to pick up some points. So it's going to be a 4 3 jam. For Waiting for it to reflect on the scoreboard so I don't misspeak, but it does look like it's going to be 4 2. Uh, oh, there was the third. I yeah. thought I saw that finger. All right, 4 3 in favor right, of Elevated. Well, points on the board in jam two. All right, let's get a lead change next jam, yeah? Yeah, let's yeah. just go back and forth. The lead whole change jam three, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Hydrate or die, as it says on all of our wristbands this weekend. All right, okay, the beautiful spin. That is going to be the lead jammer going for Gemini. Gemini. However, Glitter Bomb's not far behind here with one to beat at the top of the pack, and they are out, eligible to score points of their own if they make it around in time. Gemini picking up a quick four and going ahead and calling off that jam, holding it to a 4-0 jam. But still two elevated blockers in the box. Oof, that and is. One for the other team. So pack advantage still goes to just slightly there. But. The Starlets here. Hard roller derby. I will never lose sight of this jam timer. Look at those boats. Oh, that's the Ginger Ninja. Heck yeah. He has outfit changes during jams, during games. He's one of our officials from Dallas. Oh, wow, nice. And that is the third pair of shoes I've seen him in today, <laughs> which is honestly on the low side. Got to check. And you know what? We just got our first lead jam for the Starlets. That is Little Evil. With Rekka hot on their heels coming in. Hopefully, I'm betting they're trying to keep it a short style jam. Yep, there we go. Just as. A lot of short jam. No two minute jams yet. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to knock on yeah. wood for that. Cause that yeah, right? Like, oh, Elevate. Yeah, it was not, yeah. <laughs> announcer curse. If we say it, it'll happen. We just meant that they're going to run it for two minutes. With yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you know, however we get a two-minute jam is fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on the line here, that does look like Fighting Girlfriend for Elevated Roller Derby. Going to have to wait for that scoreboard to update to tell you who is wearing that star for high altitude. And it looks like it's Kid Radical. And Fighting Girlfriend back on the line for Elevated. Both jammers kind of absorbed in those tripods, looking for a little bit of space. Some great defensive work here from both teams. Did hear a whistle, so we were probably going to lose somebody to the box. Maybe. Maybe not. Yep, mm, seen, Yep, go. yep, seen a multiplayer called by the OPR there. Two to beat at the top of the apex here, and Lee Jammer is going to go to Fighting Girlfriend from Elevated Roller Derby. So only one lead so far for the Starlets. Kid Radical really kind of sucked into that elevated roller derby tripod here, looking for any space that they can get, just as Fighting Girlfriend comes around and picks up four points. We do see a star pass completed here to mow you down from high altitude, and they are out of the pack, just as Fighting Girlfriend comes in looking for some more points here. I do believe they picked up all four. Uh, we'll wait for the rest to confirm. No, it does look like there was a no pass, no penalty. So that's going to be three points there to Fighting Girlfriend at the end. Making that a 7-0 jam in favor of Elevated All-Stars, bringing our current score 15-4 in favor of Elevated. I feel like we need to have like jammers wear like the big balloons over their head with their names on it. Yeah. No just like, all right, that's that one. It'd be great for keeping track of points too. Does the balloon pass you? But you would. I feel like you'd lose that balloon like so fast. Oh yeah, absolutely. All, all right, right, lost in your thighs. Always makes me laugh. Uh, lead jammer for elevated. Just as elevator does lose a blocker to the box, didn't quite see what the penalty was here, but. It happens. Maybe giving some space here for, and we see it. Uh, Pi R squared able to get out of the pack just as we lose a blocker Illegal. from high altitude. Illegal position. And that is Gin and Toxic wearing the A. Quick four points there picked up by Elevated, making that a 4-0 jam. They're going to go ahead and call off that jam. Both block or both teams starting with a blocker in the box, so no real pack advantage, but honestly, as a jammer, it's kind of the best situation for you. You have a little bit more space to work on the track. Yeah, totally. 
Still no two minute jam. We're waiting for you. Let me have one. Just one, just one. Just one. Maybe two. All right, here we go. Looks like we have Gemini facing off against Slaya from the Dark Sky Starlet. Slaya, Slaya picking up a lead, making that the second lead jam for uh, Dark Sky this half. Just as Gemini gets a big hit out there at the top of turn one, being run back here by the knockout, aptly named in the situation. Mm -hmm. As Slaya's coming around looking for some points, Gemini's still on their initial. A nice hit to the outside by the knockout on Gemini here. Going to have to recycle back, getting those blockers reforming right here in Gemini. Some nice two blocking work going on here at the back of the pack. I love a two wall. We have some actually nice one-on-one -on -one blocking going on at the back of the pack as they reform into the tripod for Slaya. We will see a successful cover pass, and Slaya said, that's pretty much enough. I'm going to call that off, preserve my points. I got all four. I'm good with that. And we got a star pass. It's going to be a 4-0 jam in favor of Dark Sky. So seven jams in, only an eight-point differential, even though Elevated has gotten most of the lead jams so far. Yep, five, six out of the seven. Only two leads for Dark Sky Starlets, but they are capitalizing when they do get out. They are getting enough points. Seeing some nice recycling here at the top of the pack as Rekka looks for some space, and they are going to pick up the jammer for Elevated All-Stars. Glitter Bomb at the back of the pack for Dark Sky, looking for a little bit of space here, getting some offense from their pivot. With one to beat at the top, they're quite nice. almost there, and they are out with their initial complete just as nice footwork. Rekka finds themselves absorbed right back in that tripod. They are going to call it off, preserving their points, and they are able to pick up two. It's going to bring our current score to 21-11 Elevated Roller Derby. Hey, don't forget to check out Arizona Roller Derby's website. They are a nonprofit organization originally founded in 2003. It is the second oldest flat track league in the world right after Texas. AZRD welcomes all genders, sexual orientations, races, and religions. Much of their success is an unequivocal outcome of the support of our sponsors, volunteers, and fans just like you. Beautiful offensive sweep there on the outside line, letting Fighting Girlfriend pick up a quick lead jammer as Little Evil has just a few to beat here at the top of the Apex One as they are able to reform just as Fighting Girlfriend's able to come in and try to pick up some points here. We will be losing a Dark Sky Starlet to the box here. Mini Fridge. That's a great name. That is an excellent <laughs> name. I, I have to say, looking at this list of names, there are some of my favorite names that I've seen in Roller Derby over here, and I'm just obsessed with, oh, just going to scooch past you there. <laughs> I'm just going to scooch past you. I feel like you have to say it like that, too. Fighting Girlfriend picking up four points there for Elevated All-Stars. And don't forget to vote for the MVPs. There is QR codes posted around the building, or of course following the link in the Twitch chat. Please pick. This will happen after the final game on Sunday. All right, and we are back. Kid Radical up on the line against Lost, Lost in Your Thighs, and it is gonna be Lost in Your Thighs, lead jammer for Elevated. Kid Radical still looking for the way through, but that defense is ready. Ooh, nice hit into the pack, but takes a spill. Kid Radical hoping to take advantage of this confusion, and that is going to be four points on the board for Lost in Your Thighs. And oh no, Kid Radical heading to the box, and we got ourselves a power jam. I think that means you're supposed to hydrate. Yeah, hydrate. Hydrate or die. On the line here with some quick toast. Where's my, I'm like, where's my water at, actually? Oh, yeah, I probably should get that too. So, beautiful power jam. Blockers are just watching. Lost in Youth Eyes push that pack out. That was beautiful. Good job. Four points. And we see offense. Elevated send in some offense there. Just a few to beat as we get into this turn, giving a little bit more space for that jammer to work. And they are out, picking up another four points here. 
just as Kid Radical re-engages with the pack, that means that power jam has been brought to an end. Kid Radical trying to push out those blockers from Elevated All-Stars. Just a few left to beat here at the top, taking a Ooh. very big hit there. From okay, no earned pass. That was the signal from the ref, but looks like she's going back behind the pack. Always better to be cautious than not, honestly. And that is a blocker going to the box. That is Kills Inferno. There we go, and Kid Radical is out of okay. the pack. Okay, done with that initial now. And we are going to have the call off right before the jam ends. So I'm still not a, still no two minute jam, but we got like 158. Nice. I'll take it. I'll take it. Big big jam for Elevated. 16-0 jam. Bring our current biggest of the game so far. Yep, that'll bring our current score to 41-11 in favor of Elevated. Hey, of course, don't forget we've got all weekend. Check out those merch booths located along the wall to the right of the front doors. I saw Blue back there. I'm going to have to go see her later this weekend. I know. I didn't know she was going to be here. And me neither. I'm happy about it. Also, if y'all haven't signed up with Blue, you better do it today because her books feel so fast. On the line here for Elevated Roller Derby, we have Gemini facing off against Pi R Squared from Dark Sky Starlet. Ooh, we thought it was going to be lead, but it is going to be a cut on Gemini. Power Jam, Dark Sky Starlet. Pi R Squared out with lead, looking to come back around and pick up some points giving instructions to their blockers here on how to best support them through this power jam moment. So first power jam for the Starlets. Big hit there. You do see a little bit of adjustment. Hey, there we go. Oh, 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 Ooh. one to be almost there. Almost. And that is pivot number 15, Harley Darlin. Doing some great one-on-one -on -one blocking there as he's coming through, just as Pi R Squared is able to pick up four points. Pi R Scared. Scared, thank you. So Q, C, whatever, you know. <laughs> All right. That power jam was brought to a close as Gemini is back on the track, engaging with the Dark Sky Scarlet Wall as Pyre Scared has two to beat at the top of turn two. Almost there. Just a little bit of work left to do. Yep. Gets it. Oh, now the, uh, the pivot. hard pivot is in the box. Yep. Hard pivot. <laughs> Gemini is out of the pack just as Pyre Scared comes around looking for some more points. I'm looking for some offense. <laughs> That's it. Oh, we go knocked out to the outside by number nine, Kells Inferno, who was in the box just recently, getting a little redemption here. Gemini with two to beat at the top of the pack, getting bumped out there by number one, <laughs> one destruction, and recycled back there with also the knockout. The chat lives. Dead bug said Kells did nothing wrong. <laughs> And now we do see the elevated pivot heading to the box. And getting a little bit of a revolving door. Yeah, everybody's, everybody's just taking a visit. They want to hang out with Fickle Bitch. I mean, who doesn't? Who doesn't? She's so cool. Big hit there as that jam comes to a close, making that a 12 point jam for the Dark Sky Scarlets. Uh, elevated able to pick up four points there as well. It's going to bring our score to 45 23 elevated all stars. Looks I like want to. I want to say this is also the biggest jam for hard as yes, well absolutely. so far. So far, plenty of time. We're right, having a little team time out. That gives us a chance to talk about AZRD on social media. Make sure you follow AZRD. Follow them on Twitch, Facebook, whatever else you are a part of. Make sure you give them a follow. Engagement is nice, uh, especially their Instagram. That's where they post all the juicy details, how they got there, and what they are up to such as hosting a lot of lovely tournaments like this. Oh, yeah, that's always helpful. There's a Cactus Cup, Monsoon Madness, North America West Regionals, just a little yeah. just a little, little playoff tournament there. Just small tournaments, you know. Yeah, just only a, a few people come. Yeah, only a few. Me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that rolling whistle does mean that team timeout is being brought to a close, so we will see our skaters return to the track here. Behind the line for Elevated Roller Derby, we have 1226 Rekka. And I believe that is. Well, that is the Rehab Lab Arizona Jam Line. Oh, all right. If you're struggling with pain or looking to enhance your athletic performance, you need a doctor who cares about your goals and will treat you the way you want to be treated. Dr. Ben uses a wide range of skills to help weekend warriors and pro athletes alike move better, move stronger, heal faster. Go to rehablabarizona.com and book an appointment today. 
I'm like, well, I'll probably need that after this weekend. Yeah, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna need a massage between blue and a sports and, and a sports massage and a chiropractor. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I got a nice little free adjustment out on the track earlier. Today. Okay, yeah, like, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. You saved me like 50 bucks. <laughs> Does look like we are going to have two blockers in the box for each team Ooh, here. All right, so we're going to do a little two by two drill, a little two wall blocking drill. Both a pivot and a blocker too. Ooh, Ooh okay, Lee Chammer, that is Slaya. Oh, and we see, oh, Rekka That's heading to the box on a forearm. Jam. Power jam. Yes, they do. Once you, when she, yeah, when she start, you can't stop. <laughs> Maintaining pack is so hard with just two people. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, now it's just going to be one as we lose yeah. another hard blocker to the box here. Oh, but one's coming right back. Mm -hmm. They do let them out eventually. So we have a 3-2-1 on both of these teams. We got Rocket and Slaya, so we got to make sure we got the right, <laughs> the right number and the color. Slaya picking up a quick four points there and calling off that jam, icing the jammer from Elevated Roller Derby in the box, making that an 8-0 jam in favor of Hard. This is close. This is very close, and overall, it's a pretty low penalty game here. We're looking, we have, most people have one or none. Yeah, we got uh, nine and 10. We nothing, won. nothing wild. I mean, we we do have 15 minutes left in the first fair, half, so we, get, we got plenty of time to take dubious actions. <laughs> All right, with that power start here, we have glitter bomb for hard out and picking up lead jammer. Okay. Quick toe foot work, toe foot work, toe, toe stop work on the line. Toe work, no. <laughs> and that is three in a row for. Hard, so that's awesome. Three, three, three lead jammers in a row. Getting a little bit of a momentum there, just as Rekka is able to get through the pack and now eligible oh. to come through and pick up some points of their own. That footwork almost, almost got her out of there, but gonna call this one off after picking up a few more points. Box is clear. Hard holding, ele holding elevated there to a 3-0. Slowly creeping up on that lead score. You know what, guys? I got to tell you, this Pivot Line sponsor, I'm a fan. It's Clover Cup 2025. And you're the THA, right, Johnny? Hey, if you want to have a really good time, learn to, learn to announce roller derby <laughs> and apply to Clover Cup. <laughs> also, I think our applications are still open. Apps are open. And, with and of course, Johnny will teach you. All right, here we go, Lee Jimmer. That is a fighting girlfriend for Elevated. Little Evil uh, caught up here in a little bit of a kerfuffle uh, from skaters on the ground, but able to get up and kind of find some space and able to get out. We are going to lose a Elevated blocker to the box. As Fighting Girlfriend comes through and decides, I'm going to call it off right there. Hold that to a 4-0. But more about Clover Cup, hosted by the Dallas Derby Devils. Make sure to join us as we celebrate two decades of Derby excellence, marking the Dallas Derby Devils' 20th anniversary since their founding in November 2004. You don't want to miss this electrifying showdown featuring top WFTDA, MRDA, and JRDA teams from around the world. Battling it out on the track. For more info, visit CloverCup.com. Come hang out with us. It's a lot of fun. On the line here, we have Lost in Your Thighs for Elevated Arts All-Stars with Kid Radical wearing the star for hard. Both jammers working through these defensive walls coming into turn one and two. Nice recycling from both teams. We are going to lose, I believe, a Ooh, blocker to the box forearm. here for a forearm call. And out with lead once more. That is Kid Radical for Dark Sky Starlets. Lost in your thighs, also out coming around. Kid Radical deciding to preserve that uh, creep up there on the points and hold. Oh, they were able to pick up one point though, so just that's all you need. You just got to nickel and dime it piece by piece, and you'll eventually get there. What is it? They make a drink, a frozen drink like a Slurpee. Okay, okay. Frozen drink like a Slurpee. What, what? Yeah, EG's is another is our volunteer <laughs> sponsor. Take it easy, have an EG. This month's flavor is Monsoon. Ah. Sounds blue. It's gonna be blue or it's gonna be like green. It's purple. Purple. Blue. Blurple. 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 Does so it turn like, your mouth colors? Yes, it 
Oh, heck yeah. All right, that is going to be Gemini with the lead for Elevated. Pyre Squared able to sneak out there at the top of the apex, completing their initial pass just as Gemini is able to do some fancy turning footwork there, pick up their four points, and call off that jam. Going into jam 17, that score will be 53 Elevated All-Stars, 35 hard. We got about 11 minutes left in this first half. Got ourselves a palindrome. <gasps> yes. Yes. And we're getting puns in the in the Twitch chat. So if you need puns, join join AZRD Twitch. Give them your prime sub. Out. Oh, not out yet, but at the top of the pack with one left to beat, we have Slaya picking up lead jammer for the Dark Sky Starlets. Rekka wearing the star and also now out uh, for Elevated Roller Derby. Pack speeding up there just a little bit. As the jammers engage, it looks like we are going to have three points picked up there by the Dark Sky Starlets holding elevated to zero. You know, we mentioned junior roller derby earlier as far as Clover Cup is concerned, but do you have a junior between the ages of 8 and 17 that is interested in roller skating or roller derby? Looking for an alternative sports experience for your child? Join the AZRD Juniors. Practices are held on Sunday in Mesa at the Broadway Recreation Center. And you can check out for more information, head over to ArizonaRollerDerby.com backslash juniors. And if you just saw that, that is Glitter Bomb with the lead jammer, uh, fighting girlfriend out with her. Yep, going to call this one off. A little bit of jammer, jammer, or jammer on jammer action there. It's I mean, my favorite to see. when you get lapped, it's always a choice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, red light, green light. Some people only see green lights. Some people only see red. But usually this one's a red light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Johnny likes flashing yellow lights. All right. So indecisive. Yeah. yeah that means speed <laughs> up. <laughs> But that did still pick up a few more points here, ruining our palindrome score. It's going to be less than your thighs wearing the star for Elevated All-Stars and Little Evil wearing the star for Dark Hard. Sky Starlet. Huge hit I'm, like, I'm really torn. Like, should I say hard or starlets? I don't know. I don't know. We should have asked beforehand, probably, the hard starlets. <laughs> well, speaking of, that is Little Evil, not lead. However... Lost in Your Thighs was able to pick up lead jam there at the top of the apex, yeah. but taking a big hit from the knockout and being recycled. But both packs losing a blocker to the box. Is that going to be... It does look like we might lose a, a hitting hit? after the whistle there. Ill illegal contact, yeah. Late hit, maybe. It's maybe. so hard when you're already in that motion, and you know that fourth whistle's gone, but you're already there. I feel like that's the time I, like, hurl myself to the ground. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah, like, I'm like, I'm like oh, no. Yeah. I, give them, I give them a big hug. I'm like, I'm so sorry. You're just yeah. hug me now. Hug and spin them a little bit, you know? Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Gemini up against Pi R Scared. Small but I don't think she's scared. She ain't scared. No. She ain't scared. I think she it's might pie. make other people scared. So we got folks in the chat who are definitely rooting for Pi. And that is Lead Jammer Pi R Scared for the Starlets. Tim and I taking a big hit out there from that uh, Starlet's tripod. Ooh, Looking for some space. A star pass, maybe? We no. do see a cover off. I heart sneaky star passes. I also heart sneaky jammers who get out anyway. Here we go, out of the pack. Pi are scared back in the pack on a scoring pass here. And they are out picking up those four points. And they're mm -hmm. going to go ahead and call that off, holding uh, elevated to zero. So that's going to bring our score 53-42, elevated roller derby. I feel like I'm really testing out my eyesight here. I'm just like, who is that? Who's on that line? What? I think I've called so much remote studio now that I need like very minimal information. <laughs> <laughs> it is a very simple game, fortunately. And we got Rekka and Glitter Bomb on the line here. Rekka wrecking that pack, but they're getting wise. 
to her ways, and that is going to be Glitterbomb with the lead jammer for Hard. Rekka now also out of the pack there. And that's five leads in a row now for the Starlets. So good on them, getting those lead jammers. Knocked out to the outside, going to call it off before Rekka can score any points, and that is going to be two on the board for Hard. Yes, chip, chip, chipping away. Nine point game. Five, 55 on the clock. So both teams coming in pretty evenly ranked into this tournament. And our jammers are off. We have Fighting Girlfriend wearing the star for Elevated All Stars and Slayo wearing it for the Starlets. Lead being assessed here to Fighting Girlfriend, ending that lead streak for the Starlets. As we lose, the Starlets pivot to the box there. Didn't quite see the penalty call. Seeing some great reforming and some one-on-one -on -one work here by Elevated All-Stars, managing to contain Slaya in that pack. However, Fighting Girlfriend isn't having an easy time of it either. Getting kept back in that pack as well. Bit of a scrum going on here as we come into turn three. Hmm. Great recycling by both teams here, able to slow down the momentum that those jammers had and just kind of keep it's them in place. I love mess. We will have that two-minute jam you've been looking for as yes. we bring this fighting girlfriend to the box for a high block. Uh, 22, <laughs> jams in. 22, 22, 22 jams in. 22 jams in, and we finally get a two-minute jam. Kells Inferno holding up Slaya here at the top of the pack, doing some great one-on-one -on -one blocking, able to drive them out on the outside line, recycling them back into turn three and four. Oh, they were almost free, a nice little bump there, but Kells Inferno cut off that access on that inside line. All right, hopping back up. 31 seconds on this jam, and that is Fighting Girlfriend released now from the box. So maybe now offense is going to be opportunistic. And we go, Fighting Girlfriend out on the outside line. Slaya taking off the star, looking for the pass. Swamp is your pivot as Fighting Girlfriend comes back for a scoring pass. And Beautiful we see all the pass rest tell there. us that was a nice star pass there. So the jammer of record now for the Starlets will be Swamp. Fighting Girlfriend trying to call it, but you know, like not lead. <laughs> That'll bring that two minute jam to an end here. Eight points for Elevated All-Stars, holding the Starlet scoreless. That was a beautiful power jam kill. We don't see too many of those anymore. Fortunately, the refs did not fall for that. Otherwise, uh, somebody was going to go to the box. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, reminder, whoever wins this game plays Boulder tomorrow at 12 PM. Whoever loses will play the loser of the next game. At some point tomorrow. At some point. Oh, at 10 a.m. At 10 a.m. tomorrow, yeah, yeah. I'm glad you had that in front of you. 10 a.m. tomorrow. I'm on the schedule right in front of me. I'm like, can I read this? No. Out on the line here for Elevated All-Stars, we have Lost in Your Thighs wearing the star with just a few to beat here at the top. And Little Evil wearing the star for the Starlets. I am seeing a cut call on, the, on Little Evil, making this a power jam for Elevated All-Stars. And Lost in Your Thighs does have the lead. Haven't seen anybody ice the jammer in the box on purpose yet, but there's always a first time for everything. Beautiful offensive work there from Elevated, able to get lost in your thighs out, picking up those four points. I'd run this too if I was them. Oh, We're coming to the end of the first period. You want to get another big jam, build up that lead. Reduce the if you can. <laughs> that the Starlets have been doing it, chipping away at that lead. Two to beat here exactly. as we come into turn four. We are going to lose a blocker from the Starlets to the box for a multiplayer. Oof. But Little Evil is returning as as Lost in Your Thighs comes back around for another scoring pass. Eight points so far in this jam. Killer Queen doing some great work there, running Little Evil back even further as that jam goes. But we are going to see a star pass to mow you down. Great recycling there from Elevated All-Stars. Yeah. And we will be losing a blocker to the box there for a forearm. Unfortunately, if they roll past that elbow, you got to let them go. Elevated going to call that off, making a 12-0 jam in favor of Elevated. Bringing our score 73-44, Elevated All-Stars.
We're going to have, I believe it's a 3-3 three, three split here for our blockers for both teams, giving a little bit more room for our jammers to work. And those jammers are Gemini for Elevated All-Stars and Pi are scared for the Dark Sky Scarlets. Starlets. I think it's the third time we've seen them together, third or fourth. It's been a pretty common yeah. matchup. Yeah. Matchups, yeah. And it's kind of been back and forth, too. Like, it's not... Yeah. Both have, both have gotten lead a couple of times. Although, you know, I would say the Starlets have been getting lead quite a bit. Are they even on leads? Kind of be getting closer at this point, for sure. Pyar with pushing into that apex here, getting some beautiful reforming from both of these... De like, the defensive work from these blockers has been absolutely gorgeous. Okay, we do see Gemini heading to the box for a track cut. Power jam hard. A little bit of a tumble there coming yeah. out of turn two between one of the blockers and well, Pyar Scared. We are at 12 lead jams for Elevated and 11 for oh, Hard. that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think. Love to see a close game. Oh, my gosh. We may make that a 12-12. <laughs> Elevated is doing their best to prevent this. <laughs> two to beat as we're coming out of turn four but they got to let her go eventually. There we and go. And there it goes. That's a 12-12 lead differential for these teams. Okay. Icing Gemini in the box. She's standing, so it's not going to be a long time. But just long enough. Just long enough to maybe pick up another lead. Oh, but you know what? That's halftime. So, yeah, Hard will start with a power jam at the beginning of the second half. And we'll be right back. Could have told you who you were. That's fine. They know who I am. Artlist I.O. Licensing reimagined. Licensing reimagined. Did you know that your head is not normal? No one's is. Head shapes are as unique as fingerprints, so choosing a helmet that's custom to you is the best way to keep you safe while playing derby. 
A lot of us have spent most of our derby careers wearing a helmet that's the same size shell, whether you're a size small, medium, large, or extra large. One size fits all doesn't work for our feet, and it definitely doesn't work for your head. Roller derby helmets are designed to absorb and disperse the force of impact using EPS foam, which is scientifically designed to fit close to your head, allowing it to protect your head by crumpling or compressing upon impact. So here's the thing. If your helmet size is a small, but you're wearing the same shell size as your teammate who's an XL, not only does it look kind of funny, the functionality of the EPS foam and how it disperses impact energy is compromised. So no matter how much foam you stuff into your helmet to make it stay put, you're more at risk for head injuries, putting you at risk. The Triple Eight Certified Sweat Saver comes in better shell size options than our leading competitor, giving you the highest level of protection upon impact. Music licensing reimagined. Music license. Artlist I.O. Licensing Reimagined. Did you know that your head is not normal? No one's is. Head shapes are as unique as fingerprints, so choosing a helmet that's custom to you is the best way to keep you safe while playing derby. A lot of us have spent most of our derby careers wearing a helmet that's the same size shell, whether you're a size small, medium, large, or extra large. One size fits all doesn't work for our feet, and it definitely doesn't work for your head. Roller derby helmets are designed to absorb and disperse the force of impact using EPS foam, which is scientifically designed to fit close to your head, allowing it to protect your head by crumpling or compressing upon impact. So here's the thing. If your helmet size is a small, but you're wearing the same shell size as your teammate who's an XL, not only does it look kind of funny, the functionality of the EPS foam and how it disperses impact energy is compromised. So no matter how much foam you stuff into your helmet to make it stay put, you're more at risk for head injuries, putting you at risk. The Triple Eight Certified Sweat Saver comes in better shell size options than our leading competitor, giving you the highest level of protection upon impact.
music licensing reimagined. Artlist.io Music license List I O Music Licensing Reimagined. Music licensing reimagined. Did you know that your head is not normal? No one's is. Head shapes are as unique as fingerprints, so choosing a helmet that's custom to you is the best way to keep you safe while playing derby. A lot of us have spent most of our derby careers wearing a helmet that's the same size shell, whether you're a size small, medium, large, or extra large. One size fits all doesn't work for our feet, and it definitely doesn't work for your head. Roller Derby helmets are designed to absorb and disperse the force of impact using EPS foam, which is scientifically designed to fit close to your head, allowing it to protect your head by crumpling or compressing upon impact. So here's the thing. If your helmet size is a small, but you're wearing the same shell size as your teammate who's an XL, not only does it look kind of funny, the functionality of the EPS foam and how it disperses impact energy is compromised. So no matter how much foam you stuff into your helmet to make it stay put, you're more at risk for head injuries, putting you at risk. The Triple Eight Certified Sweat Saver comes in better shell size options than our leading competitor, giving you the highest level of protection upon impact. Artlist I.O. Music licensing reimagined. Then two minutes left in this intermission from Elevated All Stars versus the Dark Sky Starlets. Coming back in for the second half, we will have Elevated sitting at 73 points, Dark Sky sitting at 44. Overall, not too much penalty trouble in this game. We have two skaters from Dark Sky holding at three and one from Elevated holding at three, too. So pretty clean game pretty overall. Pretty clean, pretty good, pretty good. 17, 16, not so bad. Uh, a lot of leads. 
A lot of lead jammers, a lot of not lead jammers. We are sitting at, what, 12 and 12? Yeah, I think 12 it's 12 and 12. 12. Yeah, just trading those leads around. But we do see streaks of lead jammers. So we had five in a row lead jammers for the Starlets in the last half. Uh, the biggest streak that Elevated had was three, but judging by the score here, Elevated has been taking advantage of those leads a little bit more and still able to score when the Starlets have lead. So well, let us see what happens now that everybody's finally warmed up. <laughs> I believe as we come back into this too, I think we're starting in a power jam. We are starting with a power jam. That is Gemini in the box for Elevated. So uh, a quick little power jam because she is standing Oh, yeah. I think we're going to see a lot of interesting stuff here going into the second half because now the skaters have actually been on the floor and they're getting used to it. So the floor is pretty slick. Uh, so I'm sure we saw some adjustments there. I'm sure you guys have seen throughout the day there's been some ghost blocking activity, as we like to call it, where for no reason at all a skater might go down. But it's just adjusting to that floor, and I'm sure we've seen some wheel oh, yeah. adjustments as it goes. Slick through. floor. I see a lot of poisons out there, so I'm sure everybody's got those low durometer wheels on. It's some folks in 88s. Somebody, wow, just skating in 95s, like whatever. Oh, okay. that was me. I was in 97s the last game, and I was like, what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? You're working uh, on your hockey stops, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hockey stops for days out there. Hockey stops for days. But big hint to any teams that haven't played yet, go get your sticky wheels. You yeah. Really All right. We have a couple seconds here left in this half. It does look like our officials are having a quick chat before we get moving on. So it's going to be a little bit more than five seconds before this gets off. Starting us with this power jam in favor of the Starlets. That rolling whistle does mean that it's going to be derby time Next very soon. Next starts the jam. You know what I haven't seen yet is that rolling whistle triggering people to start playing derby, which I feel like I Because we know that that's I, not I, it. I, you say that. That is not the right whistle to go. Tournament. That is not the go whistle. We are trained like Pavlov's dogs. All right, here we go. Gemini. Nice. Coming uh, back from the box. That was the end of that power jam. All right, just a little short one. A glitter bomb at the top of the pack, looking for the way through. Nice two wall here from the Starlets to start out with. Still no lead, so Gemini still has a chance to get lead here, and we are seeing first blocker penalty go into the box here. That is a swamp. And that is going to be lead jammer for Glitter Bomb. All right. Gemini getting recycled here by the knockout in the top of turn two. Some great recycling going on from both teams. We've seen some amazing two-on-two -two, uh, as well as tripod work. And it just, you know, as a jammer, you see two, and you're like, ah, oh, this is it. I got it. But... Everyone's holding their ground here. We have the knockout and it looks like 802 here uh, doing some great two on two or two on one blocking, excuse me, coming into turn three just as Glitter is able to skirt through picking up three. However, ah. it doesn't look like she did get a no pass, no penalty. Nope, on that's called no earn pass now. Oh, no earn pass. No earn pass. So you miss, I like that so better. You miss one. Yeah, they, I think they changed it just because it, it's a little clearer on what it actually is. So no earned pass. The knockout living up to their name, giving another quick bump out there to Gemini just as Glitter Bomb comes through, picking up uh, their first four points because they picked up three last time. Ooh, somebody's going to the box for that. Okay, it is going to be a forearm here on the elevated pivot. Uh, who is the active jammer currently? Ooh. So that's going to be a power jam for Glitter Bomb and the Dark Sky Starlets. All right. So two power jams technically in this first jam here. We got 20 something seconds left. And Elevate doing their best to make sure Glitter Bomb regrets running that jam long. <laughs> but that is going to be a high block now on Elevated Blocker uh, on the jammer. Just a few seconds left on this jam. Glitter trying to jump around Killer Queen there at the top of turn three. Not quite getting around those hips and getting recycled back. But still picking up. Looks like all four points here on that last pass. So probably the highest scoring jam now for the Starlets. First jam of the second half. Setting the bar pretty high going into the yeah, second Yeah, they want to win this game. And it does look like we still have the jammer in the box for Elevated, making this a power start mm. for the Starlets. So another standing power start. So they only get a second to play a little offense here on the what jam line is this? One skater left to be, and they are out. Pyar scared, picking up lead jammer just as Harley Darlin, uh, wearing the star here for Elevated, is out, ending that power jam, and they have completed their initial just as Pyar squared comes in, looking for some points. Beautiful offense there by the Starlets. A 
allowing pi or scared, excuse me, uh, pick up their four points, bringing that to another 4-0 jam. So far, holding elevated scoreless in the second half. It's only been two jams, but that's still a feat. Yeah, definitely. So they had a little chat. Looks like we're going to have an official's timeout here. OTO. So it looks like neither team has used any timeouts yet. No official reviews have been called. We did have a timeout in the first half. But I think it ended up being an OTO because ah, there are yeah, still yeah, three yeah. dots oh, yep, on still the there. team side here. That's a perfect timing. You yeah. want to call a timeout, then the officials are like, you know what, so do we. You know, so do we. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, just kidding. Who is this timeout brought to us by as this rolling whistle? See, that's a rolling whistle. That's not the go whistle. It could be. It's, but, it's, <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> Go whistle. That's the go whistle. Thank you, Ginger Ninja. All right, Rekka and Slaya. Rekka Slaya, say that five times fast. Ooh, big Both up, jammers there. out here in the pack. Everybody's trying to form a tripod. Nobody's letting anybody do that. Great scrum <laughs> there. Quick little footwork there by, I believe that's Slaya, correct? Yes. From yep, the Slaya. Speaking of lead jammer, that's three lead jams in a row for the Starlet. Sure is. We do see a quick Ooh. cover stash there, trying to divert that attention just as Rekka is able to get out. Slaya deciding two points was exactly as many as they wanted, calling that jam to a close, slowly creeping up on that elevated all-star lead. So we do have the center field. Inner field is sponsored by Triple Eight. Extra large helmets don't belong on size small heads. These certified sweat saver better fit, safer fit. Revolution engineering roller derby safety with cutting edge technology and unrivaled design. Stay protected with Triple Eight. All, All right. right. Here we have little evil for the start. Fighting girlfriend. Gazing off against fighting girlfriend. Just a really nice human being also. Oh, scrum we, there. We, as we, we heart fighting her. girlfriend. All right, no lead yet, but everybody's thinking about it. <laughs> oh, 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 ooh, a little evil heading to the box. Making this a power jam here for fighting girlfriend and the elevated arts all stars. However, the blockers are not going to give it away that easy as there's still currently no lead jammer, but this will. Getting some offense from the elevated blockers, fighting girlfriend working through that straightaway here getting some great reforming. However, they are able to scoot through at the top of turn three, picking up a lead for Elevated All-Stars. We are losing a blocker to the box. That is a back block on 187. Big In the 187 there. penalty box. Oh, perfect. <laughs> that worked out really well, unfortunately. Um, doom de doom Big cutoff there from the knockout on Fighting Girlfriend. I don't think Fighting <laughs> Girlfriend quite expected to not move that blocker, which I relate to greatly. Pushing into the top of turn four here, we are going to see a cover stash from Little Evil able to get out of the pack there. Just as Fighting Girlfriend decides to go ahead and call that off and preserve any type of point differential that may occur, picking up four points for Elevated and holding the Starlet scoreless. So inching back up. 77-61, this is what, I can't do math on my head, 15-point game? Yeah, no, 16-point game. I'm One jam can me. change the world. That one elevated blocker standing in the box. So almost everybody's out there taking a little spill here. They are scared. Looking for the way through on the outside line. Does get that lead, but still has one to beat. Makes it on the tippy toes out of that pack. Lost in your thighs, still working back behind the Clover Cup 2025 pivot line. Oh, a big hit into the pack. Oh, we that's going to be a back block. block. Power jam elevated. First power jam of the half. That's going to give it, yeah. It's also going to be a two minute jam here. So it Power Scared was the lead. Was lead. Record. Yep, so we got ourselves a two minute jam. So now it's time for the defense. Beautiful cutoff there by the knockout, holding that inside line, preventing elevated roller derby from being able to run up. They took one look at that, knew exactly what that team was going to do, and said, oh, no, not today. Lost in your thighs coming around, looking for some more points here. Before that power jam comes to a full close. 
and Pyar Scared is back on the track, engaged in that elevated all-stars wall, looking for some space with some quick foot movement back and forth, able to wedge themselves into that seam, just trying to get any movement they can. And it does look like they're going to pull a multiplayer on the elevated blockers. So we're going to lose a blocker actually from both teams here. Lost in your thighs out with four more points. Pyar scared oh, going back to arm. that penalty box with a forearm call. So another power jam for Elevated. And this gives Lost in your thighs another chance to pick up more, 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 more points. Maybe beat the 16-point uh, the record in the first half Very for most close. points in a jam. A little challenge here from the knockout. Able to hold off offense from two of the elevated blockers. All right, yep. Tying the uh, high-scoring jam of the first half. We are seeing a team timeout called by Hard. Dark Sky Starless this gives us a chance to talk about the 187 penalty box. 187 killer pads worn by most pros in the world. If you skate, you know why. Oh, and hello, so we got Tiffany and Bosco is a proud sponsor of Arizona Roller Derby. Trial lawyer Will Fishbach and his pack of all-star attorneys will deliver a grand slam to any courtroom bout and send their adversaries home with rink rash. Find them at tblaw.com. Wow. Okay. I very much appreciate the derby insertion into that. Wow. Ad. And, of course, I believe all of the applications are still open for Clover Cup 2025. You're accepting teams? We are. We're looking for JRDA teams, MRDA teams, and WFTDA teams. And officials? And officials. And announcers? And, of course, announcers. Is that announcers app out there already? Yes. All right, I'll apply. You definitely should. We'd love to have you there. If I get picked, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, competitive, it's a competitive crew. <laughs> Claim your travel now. <laughs> That rolling whistle is going to bring that team time out here to a close, so we will see skaters filtering back onto the track here, getting a little dance moves from Ooh. the Ninja Ninja. I'm still disappointed you didn't change those shoes at the half. Jam timing with Flair. Again, that's the go whistle, just so you know. You know. Oh, you. If you know, you know. Side surfing there on that <laughs> inside line by Gemini, able to pick up lead. Beautiful way to kind of start that power jam, just slide on back, pick up lead, and then back into that tripod. No, so no, no, it's, it's oh, just going to scooch on past you. It's just going to scooch on past just you. Scooch yeah. on by. I, I think that person has my favorite derby name I've seen in years. Gemini picking up their four points, going to go ahead and call that off since Pi R Squared was able out to get out and was coming around looking for points of their own. Holding them to 4 0, trying to extend that lead a little bit. Every time they get it just a little bit further, all of a sudden, uh, Hard comes up and just starts chipping away at it again. Yeah, now they got to stay on their toes. So, yep, we got one more game for you tonight. That is going to be AZRD Rising versus the Angel City Rocket Queens, and that will be at 8 p.m. tonight. I hope to hear a lot of fan noise for that since they are the hosts of this tournament. Many we noises. Get out here and scream for them. On the line right now, we have Rekka for the Elevated All Stars pushing this wall from the Starlets into turn one. As we see some beautiful one on one blocking here by number 99, 999, excuse me, Amanda Jamadinia on Slaya from the Starlets. However, both jammers are out of the pack and coming around looking for points. Packs keep moving a little bit here, trying to pick off skaters left and right just to get something on the board for their jammers. Elevated roller derby going to call that off, picking up. It does look like two points. Two. Ninety-nine. Ooh, we've almost got a bucket. Just need one more drop in the bucket. One more drop in the bucket. <laughs> Do you need a bucket, Johnny? Johnny needs a bucket. All right, here we go. Fighting Girlfriend up against Little Evil. Little Evil already right here at the front of the pack, but, you know, that elevated pack is not having it. Fighting Girlfriend now pushing everybody up around the outside line. She wants that lead. She's got two to beat, one to beat. Lead Shammer, Fighting Girlfriend for Elevated All-Stars. Having some beautiful tripod work here by the Elevated All-Stars in the back, able to quickly reform, cut off those lines. Uh, However, Little offense. Evil found that 
one inch that they needed to be able to get out of that pack. Good job, Swamp. We saw that offense. That was awesome. Fighting Girlfriend going to go ahead and call off that jam, bringing Elevated All-Stars over the century mark, making our current score 103. Elevated All-Stars, 65 Dark, dark Sky Starlets. Wow. I that, that, that one like, is like killing me. I want to do I want to do better. We got to we gotta do better. Gotta pick one here. It's gonna hard, be hard. Dark hard. Sky Starlets. Hard. There we go. I like that. <laughs> we all have to do better. All right, here we go. Five seconds. And we got Glitter Bomb up against Lost in Your Thighs. So pretty solid jammer matchups. It's, it's oh, kind of settled into a pattern. Um, I'm not sure anybody really has an advantage here because we're still trading leads back and forth, back and forth. Although Hard does have more leads Good in this deal. half. Leads and that is Glitter Bomb. Ooh, and we're losing a blocker to the box. That is 909 Tsunami. That was some beautiful, aggressive defense there at the start of that jam. I mean, they it took Ooh. a hot minute for them to get past that pivot line. I don't know if y'all saw this because we're sitting in the best seat in the house, but I did see Glitter Bomb just bait that pack right to the outside and just run on in and get out for those points. Oh, that I was awesome. That. You love to see it. Unless you're the blocker. <laughs> Unless you're the blocker, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 103-69. Nice. 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 So only and one blocker in the box. Pi are scared versus Gemini. You know, your best friends now, you get to jam together this much. Oh, yeah. They That's how it works. This point. Two to beat here at the top of the pack for Pi are scared, getting some great blocking from Triple Axel Rose keeping them on their toes as they're able to get out and pick up lead jammer. Gemini working those lines in the back, trying to get that pack to move just to give them the little bit of space they need. However, instead, they are going to pass to Axel, who is now the jammer of record for Elevated All-Stars. Okay. Quick call off there. Let's see if any points go up on the board. I missed the jammer's hands. It does, it's going to be two points for the Starlets. Three point two three. I can't. Oh, yeah, now I see the thumb. It's always fun to decipher, like, every ref likes to do their points differently. Oh, yeah. I always yeah. have to have a discussion with my scorekeeper at the beginning. I'm like, okay, this is my one. This is my two. But I always love the, the no initial. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, see, there's one I heard that this was. Yeah, I've seen people do that, too. Like, well, that's aggressive. But I like this one. You can't see, you can't see me. <laughs> Rick uh, up against the little evil. Uh, we do see a blocker hopping the line there, but that does mean Rick gets out lead jammer for elevated. Little evil with just a few to beat here. Uh, well, I say that just as elevated is able to recycle around and absorb little evil into that tripod. Getting a big hat hit out there on Rekka from number 32 on the Starlet's mini fridge. Okay, we are seeing illegal contact here on mini fridge. Oh, that was too good of blocking. You, you did a You're too good. You got to chill out, okay? <laughs> too good, too good, too strong. Rekka absorbed in that tripod here from the Starlet's. Both jammers kind of just stuck as we're coming here into turn three, just as we're losing a blocker to the box from Elevated making this a three-on-three -three situation in both of these packs, but they're working it. Mm -hmm. There we go. We do see Rekka out picking up four points just as Little Evil is being recycled back into the top of turn three by Killer Queen. Beautiful spin-around spin move moves. there. Oh, no. Oh, no, not the Are cut. you sure? <laughs> Making this Come a two-minute, the second two-minute jam <laughs> in the second half. Little Evil being run back once more by Killer Queen, looking for some space on that line, and we are going to see a star pass completed to the pivot for Elevated, which is mow you down. Or excuse me, uh, Starlet, which is mow you down. Now the jammer of record. Hey, thanks everybody who's watching in the Twitch chat. Don't forget to like and subscribe AZRD Twitch channel. Use those prime subs. Use those free prime subs. You get a free sub to Twitch. It's free money for the league. Spiky Dikey, my teammate. It also hey, gives Spiky. you a ad-free viewing experience. Yes, you also get ad-free if you subscribe. <laughs> Quick pickup there of four points as the jammer from Elevated was able to get out of the box and sweep by. 
So we're going to see an 8-3 jam here, bringing our score 111 elevated, 75 dark sky starlets. All right, and of course, all of this is making me incredibly thirsty, which makes me bring up our sponsor, Element. Stay salty, drink Element, try some here at Monsoon Madness, or find yours at drinkelementy.com. Hydrate or die. Hydrate or die. All right, let's go Fighting Girlfriend up against Slaya. So mixing up those jammer matchups, that is going to be Fighting Girlfriend lead jammer. We are hearing some whistle stuff is happening. I hear, see a multiplayer being called. It's going to be two jammers from Elevated in the box, giving a pack advantage here for Ooh. the Starlets if they are able to take advantage of two it. Two jammers from Elevated. How many can there be? So many. Blockers. Thank you. <laughs> I know, I'm like getting hot in here. I'm like, I'm not even doing anything yet. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love these beautiful big Texas Roller Girls fans. We got these at NA South. It is the smartest move, honestly. All right, regional tournaments, step up your game. <laughs> it was so hot there in that go. venue, too. Did, oh, I didn't. I you brought yours? Yes. We also got medals. The announcers Ooh. got medals at NA South. Uh, From Hydra. She I put them on us. In yeah, you should have. When we were out, I should have been like, all right. <laughs> medals. This is the way. All right, here we go. Lost in your thighs up against Glitter Bomb. Glitter with one to beat at the top of the pack here. Oh, oh, almost there. Just a little I great. Just one triple axel is to beat who's here. like, you know, pretty good at roller derby. <laughs> Wonderful one on one blocking there. But that is a lead jammer to Glitter Bomb. Beautiful offensive squeeze there from Elevated All Stars. Trying to get some space for Lost in Your Thighs. However, Starlet's able to recycle quite beautifully and reabsorb loss in your thighs into the pack. Glitterbomb pushing out those blockers and out picking up some points of their own just as loss in your thighs is able to complete their initial. Glitter decides to call that off, holding that to a 4-0 jam in favor of the Starlets. We do see Hart losing one blocker to the box. And of course, uh, Shout out to our medic sponsors for the weekends. That's Evit. They provide high school and adult students with advanced skills and training needed to thrive in today's competitive job market. Get career training at evit.edu. And on the line, we have Gemini facing off against Pi R uh, Scared. I keep trying to say squared. Pi R Scared. Gemini with some quick toe stop Ooh. work there on that inside line, picking up Lee Jammer for Elevated Roller Derby. Pi R Scared getting recycled into that elevated blocking contingent, but able to push them out just as Elevated loses a blocker to the box. Seeing a little bit of penalty trouble happening, but not where I expected it based off the last couple penalties yeah. called. <laughs> Well, everybody's getting wise to the track here. So it's like you got to adjust your play style for every track you play on. What you do at home isn't always what you can do away. So I think it's sometimes the team that adjusts the fastest, the fastest is, yeah. especially if you're really closely ranked, whoever adjusts yeah. faster, you can win that game. So we've got, wow, we've got a lot more penalties happening in the second half. But you know what? Both teams are totally even on the number. Each team has 27 penalties but only a few people are in trouble and they're all on the starlets. I'm sure they know. <laughs> they don't need us I'm to sure they know. You know who you are, yeah. So Look what you did. <laughs> Look what you did. Rekka up against a Kid Radical, Kid Radical. Getting a little offense, but it is hard to play offense against this elevated defense. And it is gonna be lead jammer Rekka. Beautiful little hop there at the top of the apex. Love to hop. All right, we're seeing some offensive work here from the Starlets trying to get Kid Radical out of the pack. Star Pass, uh, maybe not, maybe oh, not. No, Star Pass not, not completed. JK, cool, touch it, play the little hot potato game, and now you can have the star. Making the knockout, <laughs> the jammer record for the Starlets. So will Rekka run it? Burning questions. I know what I would do, which is exactly which is, that. Which is that, which is call it. Game. I was uh, like, uh-uh, no, just let that one go. All right, we're going to yeah. see a team timeout here okay. called to Dark Sky Starlets. Yeah, there are, there are pivots that you're like, yeah, okay, we'll run this long. And there are pivots that you're like, oh, heck no, we got to oh, end absolutely that. Absolutely yeah. That's a no-go <laughs> for me. Thanks. It's going to be a no for me. So, again, reminder, the winner of this game will go on to play Boulder County Roller Derby tomorrow at noon. Uh, the loser of this game and the loser of the next game will play tomorrow at 10 a.m. So you will see... All of these teams play again tomorrow in the morning. So get your coffee, get your breakfast burrito. 
Oh, I need a breakfast burrito. And get yourself over here. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. If you haven't yet, be sure to check out the merch booth located along the wall to the right of the front doors. You can find stickers, patches, hats, shirts, and other fabulous items uh, from Monsoon Madness, ACRD, and any other teams that may be selling their merch this weekend. We got some Pi fans and some TKO fans in the chat. Thank you, Christy, Christy Zapp, for joining us. That and of course, oh, we got a shout out to the NSOs and the EOPRs representing Utah. The only undefeated team here. <laughs> Who? The officials. Oh, the officials. The officials. <laughs> <laughs> officials. Officials remain undefeated. <laughs> it's because the announcers won't fight them. That's what Johnny says. <laughs> it, is, it is true. You know, I don't know. Speak for yourself, Johnny. <laughs> Wait till I'm back on the track. I might fight him then. All right, that jam does mean we are back in gameplay fighting girlfriend for Elevated All Stars facing off against Slaya from the Starlets. Lee Jammer going to fighting girlfriend. Seeing a bit of offensive work here from the Starlets trying to get Slaya out. And it works. Big hit there by Killer Queen. However, it does look like cut. Yep, that is going to be a track cut. That's Beautiful a cut. run back from Killer Queen there. Giving us a power jam for Elevated All-Stars. These things, these things happen. Elevated trying to get a nice sweep there on the top of turn three, but the Starlets are able to work around it a bit. Trying to find some space. However, there was a no pack situation because Elevated saw a chance to keep one of the pack from the Starlets back with them. So Elevated definitely winning the lead jammer game this half. They've got nine leads. Elevated giving some one-on-one -on -one offense here. One-on-one. -on -one. One on pack offense here, trying to help Fighting Girlfriend get out of this beautifully rotating tripod from the Starlets. Every time they pick one off, they're able to just form right around it. However, finally there is some success as Fighting Girlfriend picks up four points. Coming back around as we lose a starlit blocker to the box. Slay is still here on the track looking for some space, able to shake off that hit from Axel Rose. Able to get out of the pack after they came back from that penalty situation. Fighting Girlfriend through, picking up four more points for Elevated. You can tell the blockers are getting tired because they're all just standing up, hanging out. They're not messing with each other oh, as like, much. No, I'm not going to hit you anymore. Yeah, I'm yeah. All right. all right. We did this in the first half. We're, we're good now. We want dinner. That's going to be a 16-0 <laughs> jam for Elevated. I think that ties our highest jam of the game, or it might be uh, the yeah, highest nope, 16. jam of the game. Yeah, no, 16. We've had three 16-point jams this game, and they've all been Elevated. All right, y'all. Someone's got to get a 20-point jam. We can't keep having these 16s. We need to put in a little more work. I, I, bet, like I, bet, I bet Little Evil could do it. I think so. Yeah, I think, I think so. this might be the one. Could be done. It might be the one. All right, Pi are scared, lost in your thighs. So many things happening with those two names, so many things. And that is the lost in your thighs push and getting that lead jammer for Elevated. Pi are scared, almost out, but one foot on the out here. Going to have to recycle back behind the Clover Cup 2025 pivot line. As, <laughs> as lost in your thighs comes around for a square jam. You like that? That was perfect. <laughs> hey, I'm here for it. See you in Dallas. No. Yes. <laughs> All right, here we go. Lost in your thighs. Uh, now trying to beat this tripod. We are going to see We're going to a penalty it. of some kind. Oh, yeah, multiplayer. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Multiplayer on number 32. That is mini fridge. Sitting on six. Knockout. Busted. Able to recycle. Lost in your thighs back just as that tripod comes back together. Ooh, Ooh big hit there as we were going to lose. Num Amanda, uh, Jam Amanda Jam Jamania. Yeah. Team Spirit Award right there. Always with a smile. <laughs> Quite the scrum happening here. I, I don't think anyone's gotten out in at least. And you know what? As soon as you say ah, stuff like that, as soon as you say stuff like that, stuff happens. You're right? welcome. It's not like this is a very simple game. We're absolutely clairvoyant. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Both jammers are now out, able to come around looking for some more points. Give us points. We demand it. Big offensive hit there by Killer Queen, trying to pick up some more points for Lost in Your Thighs. And it does look like that's going to be a 4-0 on that last pass, bringing the jam total for that 8-0 in favor of Elevated All-Stars, making our score 147-79, Elevated All-Star Roller Derby. And we got six minutes left in this game. And then, and then, who is playing next? 
I already forgot. But it is. You did not forget. forget. Oh my gosh. We have the Phoenix Rising playing. I did forget. I AZRD remember. Rising. Yeah, I have the AZRD. And who, el who else? This is a test now. Oh, I, I Angel City Angel Rocket City. Queens. I should know because all of the Angel City skaters were like walking around a minute ago and they're in their jerseys. Yeah. There's only one game left. Who can they be? Here at the top of the pack, we have Glitter Bomb. Glitter Bomb. Almost. Taking a big hit there by Axel Rose. And out with lead is Gemini. That run back really preserving the lead there for Elevated All-Stars. Glitterbomb finding some space on the outside line, able to shake off that hit at the top of turn four. Just as Gemini goes through, almost untouched, picking up four points and calling off that jam, holding the Starlet scoreless. Hey, don't forget to check out Body Breakdown by Blue. She is here this weekend. Make sure you get on the books with her because she will be full up on Saturday and Sunday for your massage session. She's also offering up the compression space pants. Those are fun. Cold and heat therapy, hydration and wellness products from Urban Apothecary, formerly known as Crybaby Wellness. And, and we're back. Whistle has us off. Rekka wearing the star for the Elevated All-Stars. Little Evil wearing it for the Starlets. Both jammers kind of caught up here in a little bit of a scrum in a race into turn two and three. Lead going to Rekka. But that doesn't quite mean they're out and safe yet as they are caught at the top of the pack, I do believe, by the knockout. Oh, okay. Ooh, little stumble there. That was an interesting, uh, interesting blocking right there, but that is going to be a direction call on that pivot. A little too interesting. It was a little too fun. Oh, that was not the knockout. I'm sorry, I misspoke. That nope, was that's swamp. swamp. It's got an ellipsis after the name, but not on the jersey. I just don't know how to pause for I'm going to be like, swamp. swamp. The, uh, and then you have to like wait a beat before you keep talking. Yeah, okay, yeah, really yeah, yeah, yeah. Rekka picking up four points as Little Evil is still absorbed in that tripod from Elevated Roller Derby in the top of turn four. One to beat. And Rekka is out, as is Little Evil. Rekka picking up another four points and calling off that jam, once again, holding the Starlet scoreless. So we got two in the box for hard. 32 penalties for the Dark Sky Starlets, 29 for Elevated, so everybody's getting a little tired. Got a couple people sitting on six. Naughty, naughty. Fighting girlfriend up against Pi, ah, oh, they're scared. Ooh, beautiful open line there on the Ooh. inside line for Fighting Girlfriend, picking up lead jammer. However, Pi However. are scared, using that chaos to their advantage, getting out of the pack as well, just as the pivot for the Starlets returns Excuse me, from the box, taking a big hit there from Kels Inferno. We will see four points picked up by Elevated All-Stars, holding once more the Starlets at zero. <laughs> wow, okay, so now seven scoreless jams. We said the Starlets were chipping away at the lead, and uh, Elevated took that personally. Oh, wow. Oh, and that means seven lead jams in a row for Elevated. So holding them scoreless and getting lead. Out on that jam line for Elevated, we have Lost in Your Thighs facing off against Glitter Bomb from the Starlets. Glitter Bomb being run back, a out of play being called, allowing Glitter Bomb to enter while that blocker was still in the back. However, quite a scrum Ooh. happening here. Glitter able to get out, repassing that blocker legally and picking up lead jammer, ending that lead streak for Elevated Roller Derby. Mm -hmm. As Lost in Your Thighs is kind of caught up here on the Starlet blockers at the top of turn two. Ooh, flavor of the month, monsoon. Oh, it is, it is that blurple. I would, I would like that to turn my mouth blue. Yes. Yeah. I think they match your hair. Blurple. Yeah, and that'll match Blurple. my hair. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That jam is going to be called off with Glitter Bomb picking up two points there for the Starlets, breaking that scoreless streak. Bringing our score 163, Elevated All Stars, 81, Dark Sky Starlets. And if you've been loving the officiating, make sure you check out RDOA. It's an unaffiliated association of roller derby officials, skating officials, and NSOs from all rule sets, affectionately known as the herd, fostering a cult of cult, cult, <laughs> cult of inclusion. It cult. It's a culture of inclusion, but professionalism, cult. and learning. Join the RDOA Facebook group to get connected. <laughs> cult culture, you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> all right. 
right. We are gonna <laughs> Lee Chammer, Slaya. There was some beautiful toe work there on that inside line from Gemini, but just getting bumped out right at that last second, costing them that lead as Slaya comes through, picking up a quick four points, able to skirt around the blockers, basically unseen, which is the best feeling as a jammer. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, no one touched me, thank and you God. you drop below that, like, line of sight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, both jammers coming up on this pack here. We're going to see a tripod try and form here to hold off Gemini, but she's able to shake off that hit on the inside, picking up four points of her own, making that a 4-4 jam. Possibly a 4-8 jam in favor of the Starlets. Are we gonna get one more jam? Oh, nope. All right. So All right. I heard a rolling whistle, which typically means a final score. I'm waiting to see if that is. Let us see if the scorekeepers agree. That second half went by so fast. That was like super fast, but there, they really, like, there were only two team timeouts called no ORs the entire game. Elevated didn't use a single team timeout. Yeah, if you'd asked me, I would have said there was like at least five minutes left in this game. Yeah, right. <laughs> so that means that uh, we will start the next game probably right on time at 8 o'clock. That is going to be AZRD Rising versus the Angel City Rocket Queens. Here we go. There's the final score. 167 to 89. Elevated All-Stars will move on to play Boulder County Roller Derby. The Flatiron Phoenixes at 12 p.m. tomorrow. Artlist.io, 